All right, we're back with another video today. This one on should you get Apple Care for your shiny new Mac. I'm gonna address iOS devices here in just a second, but you just have to look at it as a thing of value. Now, you're gonna find varying opinions out there. I know a lot of smart people who fall on either side of it. Some say, yeah, you need it. I mean, Macs aren't cheap, they're great value, but they're still not inexpensive, so why not spend two, three, maybe even $400 on that Apple Care? And that way, if something happens uh, after the first year, you're still covered, you don't have to worry about expensive repair, anything like that. And others say, hey, don't waste your money. By the time you add up what you're going to spend on Apple Care, Macs are already reliable. Why bother? Well, for your business, I view it as a good investment. It's that extended warranty, but it's a good extended warranty. Macs, because of how integrated they are, because of how compact a lot of them are, they're not cheap to repair and not just anybody can do it. So you really need to invest in Apple Care for your Macs for your business. Personally, whatever you do is kind of up to you. It's probably 50-50 in that case, unless you know that you're prone to drop your Mac or you've just had bad luck and you're like, hey, I've got to make sure I'm protected. But Mac repairs can easily get into several hundred dollars. I mean, go ahead and spend that investment. Get it. You'll be able to write it off. It's not a big deal. You want it for your business. And now for iOS devices, I come down to how clumsy are you, right? So for your phones, if you know you've dropped it before, you've almost shattered the screen or something like that, yeah, you not just need a good case. You need to invest in Apple Care. But I've seen very few issues overall with most iOS devices. So I'm kind of on the fence about that. Again, for your business devices, maybe you go ahead, you can still write it off, you've got it there if you need it, but considering there's still a small expense for some repairs, probably best to just weigh it against what you really need and how many problems you've had in the past, or if you're getting it for an employee, how likely they are to drop their phone and then have a several hundred dollar screen repair versus you just paying Apple $50, getting it fixed, getting it taken care of. So those are my thoughts on Apple Care. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'm Chris Michael at ParkwayTech.com. Thank you so much for watching.